Welcome back, Miraculous fans, to another live reaction with Hunger Harmony. And this is gonna be Season 5, Episode 21 of Miraculous. Happy Miraculous Monday, everyone! Um, surprise, I guess. I mean, this would only be a surprise for people who didn't watch my last week's live reaction with my friends, so... Or the thing that happened on Friday or Saturday when I uploaded that answer so this would be a surprise for you guys so yeah unfortunately I'm continuing the only reason one of the only reasons why I'm continuing is because of you guys uh, I had some very very sweet sweet kind people write in the comments underneath my video saying that you guys really want me to continue and some of you guys really understood why I didn't want to continue and you guys were totally understandable about that like this is a shout out to you guys for being super awesome and super understanding and I I literally when the movie came out I was like nope I I was satisfied my soul is complete like everything I wanted from the show finally came out in a movie and there's I feel like there was no reason for me to continue because we finally got the answers we were seeking forever since for seven years so yeah <laughs> I should I should have ended it but I did start season five and it's good to at least finish it I may make a final decision in the season five season finale of season five if I will continue or not but if you have not seen the video I posted not too long ago then you do not know the answer you, you might be confused I'm not sure um, I'm just trying to continue because I did grow up with the show I do love it but I'm just saying like a lot of seasons have just really been down in the dumps and in my opinion they're not really following writers perspective but because what I've heard is that Jeremy Zag is gonna continue writing or is gonna take over writing sorry taking over for the writing portion for season six or the whole thing that makes me very interested on where he's gonna take it. And my theory is that I hope he's just gonna erase everything and just start where we started with the movie, because the movie is absolute perfection in my opinion. And I know I have some criticism, I'm not gonna talk about it here, but there's some, you know, there's some pros and cons to the movie, but for me, like, the cons are like 90% the best and 10% of, there might be cons, but 10%. That's nothing <laughs> compared to 90. 90 is like, awesome! So, yeah. All right, well, Again, going into this continuing season five, I'm just going with very low expectations. The only thing, of course, maybe I'm really interested in how is Lila is going to become the next um, Hawk Moth, Monarch, Shadow Moth, Scarlet Moth, All the Moth. Like, how is she gonna get it? Because I feel like that, or not feel like, I feel like they already told us that in like season two, I think. Yeah, I think in season two that I, we think that Lila is gonna be the next, you know. It's gonna take over. So I'm kind of seeing where this writing is gonna go, which I'm just I I'm just expecting disappointments. But my heart is at peace. My heart is at peace with the movie. And if I feel depressed, I'll just watch the movie that cures depression, which is the miraculous movie. So that will always make me feel so much better because it again, it gave me peace to my soul. And this will just torture it. But it's okay, because I'm here for you guys and I'm here to finish what I started. So, sorry, I'm gonna end, I'm gonna continue from here. I just need to tell you guys what was going on and I appreciate those who wrote wonderful and meaningful comments underneath my videos. This is definitely for you guys, just for you, because you guys are the ones who wanted to continue, wanted me to continue and you really do love my reactions and that means the world to me and that just, just, just heals my heart. So thank you guys. This is definitely for you guys. Thank you. Well, let's see what episode 21 has in store. <laughs> in the daytime, I'm Marinette. Just a normal girl with a normal life. But there's something about me that no one knows yet. Because I've got a secret. I cannot talk. Confrontation. How? You look even more lost than pasteurized cheese in the French cheese section. How hard is 
they can fill out an orientation form. All you have to do is write down your request for next year's school and your career goals. I can't write down the truth, Black. If Marinette finds out that my father's decided to send me to a private school in London next year, it'll break her heart. And mine too. Oh, so, so he is sending him to a new school. Okay, that's the reason why... He's going to London. Okay, you know, we, we had that question of like, wait, why, why, why is he sending him to London? I thought like London, like maybe summer vacation because school's about to end soon. But no, going to London for a completely new school. I mean, go for your careers, even though I know why he's sending him to London for reasons. I mean, I'm, I'm, I have a theory why Gabriel's sending him to London. I think I said that in my last episode, or my theory in one of my episodes before. But, uh, or my videos before, but, I mean, if there's a good curriculum for fashion in London and Marinette is good with that, I mean, Marinette could go with him. Problem solved. Eh? No? What, no cheesy joke to comfort me? I know how I would feel if I had to be separated from you, Adrian, and there's nothing funny about that at all. Oh, Black has a heart. I hope everything goes well. Marinette, I don't get it. What happens during a teacher rep meeting is so worrisome. This meeting is where our futures are being decided, Tiki. The teachers need to review our school performances and decide whether or not we'll be able to pursue the studies we've chosen. If I were your teacher, I'd decide that you're the best. <laughs> Thank you, Tiki. Tiki, that's very sweet and motivational. Is something wrong, Marinette? I'm having a really strange feeling about something. Up until now, Ollie and I were the class reps. When our classmates gave us the career forms, they were also entrusting us with their hopes and dreams. Well, you know I want to be a reporter, so I'll need to specialize in literature in high school. Movie director! No. Just try to defend her up here! I'll be a stay-at-home dad! While me Lynn saves the world, I'll be taking care of the kids! Wait, wait, what the... What? 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 What are you saying? What? Are, <laughs> Ivan? Ivan? What? Stay, stay at home, dad? Are you two married or something? Is you and Milan married? What did I miss? Movie director. Just try Defender of the Earth. Cool, Defender of the Earth. You know, like, stop Project Oxygen. Yeah, go, yeah, yeah. You, you go, Milan. Uh, yes. But Ivan, what? I'll be a stay-at-home dad. While me Lynn saves the world, I'll be taking care of the kid. Kids? What kids? Ivan, are you married? You're still in high school. What the frick? I mean, mm, I, are you practicing? To, so are you going to do home ec? Is that what you do? It Like, what, what are you talking about? Like, or is like, da, 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 da. Okay, guys, I don't know. I died, but it's a point to chalk. Okay, um... I don't have words. What did the French say? The French, the French dub. Did the, did the, did the French dub Ivan also said the same thing? Like, what the frick? If he's doing home ec or like learning how to, you know, maybe starting his own business, like staying home and watch over the kids. What kids? If you have siblings, Ivan, I understand. If you have younger, younger siblings, that's understandable. But stay at home, dad. That, that says that you are married and you have kids. Is there, sorry, I could be completely misunderstanding this situation, but, Ivan, buddy, is, is there such curriculum as a stay-at-home, like, stay-at-home mom, stay-at-home dad? Aren't they still in high school? Ah! It's like, what did I miss? Ivan, is there something you need to tell us? Milan, is there something you need to tell us? Like, I'm just freaking out. You know, kind of, this, this, okay, this has nothing to do with the theories of, of that might make me depressed for season five finale, but now I'm really invested right now for Ivan and Milen. I'm really invested in their relationship right now, so I'm kind of glad I continue because of this reason, but same time, I am freaking confused. What? Okay, I'll continue. I'm just, okay, Rose, what did you want? Here's Sam's three unicorns. There's no such thing, Rose. Oh, okay. Here's Sam's for dragons. Sure. Just for you. Awesome! That is so you. Wait, what? A nurse? Well, yes. I love to... Okay, hairstylist for dragons! Just be a hairstylist. You're great. Awesome! A musician? So sorry. I'm sorry. No such thing, Rose. Oh, okay. Hairstylist for dragons! Awesome! That is so A musician or a mortician? Nurse? Well, Sushi? Yes. I 
I love taking care of other people. Sushi! You like taking care of... Oh, awesome. no. That is so I mean, you. sorry, I went back to noise. I mean, Sabrina, you... Oh, my gosh, I can't believe I'm saying this, but you... I mean, yes, you probably be a wonderful nurse, but I feel like Chloe will not let you go and you'll be her maid for the rest of your life. Unless you can stand up for yourself, girl. I know you can do it. Stand up for yourself. But that's interesting that you do like to ca take care of people. So yeah, nurse is really good, especially for nursing home. That's a very good career to go after. And we need people like that to really, who really care about, um, especially the elderly and the young kids and just like are in hospitals or in elderly homes, all the above, like every, and I'm glad that she likes to take care of people. That's amazing. Though I hope taking care of Chloe is not the reason why you like to take care of people because um, I think you'd be definitely awesome if you can take care of like you know if your dad's home it's you know home sick or home at sick and, and if your mom's not around then you can you know you help your dad you know get back uh get better like you know giving him like chicken noodle soup all the tissues like uh all the stuff like if that's what you've done and you enjoy it that's awesome like you know taking care of people but this is just this this Sabrina, I'm sorry, but you, you, I hope this is not the reason. If it is, I'm like, Chloe, you just did this to her, but to an emotional level. Don't worry, we're the workplace will hopefully not be as bad as Chloe. It should be a lot better for your soul and for your mind. So I wish you the best, Sabrina. Wish you the best. Chloe, oh, I don't need a care because I'm rich. Well, yes, I love taking care of other people. Sushi! Shut up. <laughs> He said that now Chloe and Lila are the new class reps. Yes, and they'll be the ones presenting our friends' forms to the teachers during the teacher rep meeting. And they're just so... Oh, that's the worst. What about you, Chloe? What do you want to do in life? Nothing. I don't need to do anything since I'm already rich. To the question, what do you want to do in life, you answered, I want to resolve every political conflict on the planet in order to establish world peace and solve the environmental crisis. Also, free candy for everyone. Are you serious? I could have added, I want to become your best friend, but we both know that would have been a lie. Just like the rest. I feel like I'm betraying our friends by entrusting their forms to such awful girls. If Chloe and Lila try to do something bad, we'll find a way to stop them. I trust us. There you go. You. Hugs! Sweet. Sweet hugs. Sweet hugs. Your file is the only one still missing. I'm still not sure what I want to do yet. That's fine. You still have a little time before the teacher rep meeting. Thank you for everything you've done so far, Marinette. You're welcome, Miss Bustier. I hope the meeting goes smoothly. And now, let's give our support to your new class representatives, Lila and Chloe. Boo. Chloe to respectfully represent you during the teacher rep meeting. Boo. Good. After you destroy the forms, you'll fill out new ones using your talent for forging students' handwriting. I'll tell you what's right. Oh, wait, not so fast. You're using too many words to explain your plan. We're going to make fake forms, and then we'll defend those at the teacher rep meeting. Every student will then be signed up for a study course that doesn't fit them at all. But they'll be furious when they realize. Exactly. And we'll pin it all on Marinette. What the frick? Oh, like Daddy does at City Hall. He always said, in case of a problem, always blame it on your predecessor. For it to work, Sabrina will just have to say at the right time that Marinette forced her to forge the fake forms, and everyone's life will be wonderfully ruined. Villainous! Utterly villainous! Hmm. I don't think I can do it! Hoping Chloe doesn't hurt anyone, but this... Forging documents and lying... It's different! It's going to hurt people! Good job, Sabrina. To whistle ever again. Get to work. Oh! Oh, that is kidnapping? That is kidnapping? I'm forcing. So this is enslaving. Huh? Intruders? Hmm? Oh my gosh. Oh, sweet kids. And that'll settle Comrade Nagel's problem of not knowing where to go. When you did? The design courses I want to take are available at the Performing Arts High School, so I won't be able to attend Jacques de Tremoux. Uh, um. Hello? See? 
Marinette just came out of the boardroom, and I saw the others go in earlier. Unacceptable. Uh, I asked them to go, actually, to make sure the cockroaches are gone. I hate cockroaches. Oh, Way to go. Well, if I were the principal, things would be different here. Oh, no. Yeah, they would. Not for the best, I, in my opinion, as your attitude would show. You okay, Marinette? Yes. Yeah. It's really unfair that we're forced to decide what we want to do so early on in life. That is so true. We should get to try a bunch of subjects before we decide on a career and but get it's to called... with our butts and help each other at the same school. Uh, that would also be called college at the same time, but, um, no, actually, um... I had this argument even back in high school. Like, I thought, like, I feel like in middle school you should try everything. Arts, gymnastics, history, like, all the stuff, like, study, like, I felt... My school system is really interesting because I thought like maybe this would actually help people go to their goals and careers. And what my theory was like, you know, from first to fourth grade, learn everything, math, not everything, but like, you know, you learn to read, write, do math, exercise, all the stuff from first to fourth. Then from fifth, from fifth to sixth or fifth to, sorry, uh, eighth grade. So middle school, you learn all the things that interest you that maybe you try a lot of things like that's when you're trying and learning and doing a lot of stuff um of course learning your history learning your english like that unfortunately has to still stay i guess but i want to say like there should be like some curriculums that you start to be interested if someone's really good at math and really interested in math and have them continue higher stuff in math and this is why i'm thinking like in high school that's when you start to do more things that you want to do in the future like in in college and college is a level where you just do what you love and of course i understand some people do try things and they change their mind because they rather do something else yes that unfortunately does happen in real life and in just other things too but when milan said this is like we should force to choose our careers right now i'm like no i actually kind of want you to choose your career because i feel like you already kind of know what you want to do and try it out and if not you know you could definitely just try different things i have a like i have a fantasy school curriculum that i'm like oh this would be make amazing because because i wished that i could have done artwork in high school just art because i felt like i had somewhat of a talent and if i could just con like did focus on my artwork in in high school and i also did basketball i did like sports like i love sports i love art and I wanted to do somewhat kind of like voice acting too, like acting and stuff like that. If I could have just pursued that, but uh, oh, my, my high school life was, was very different. But of course, this was also in Hungarian school. And Hungarian uh, school curriculums is very different and definitely also different in the around the world. Like even in French curriculum, probably very different. Definitely very different in French and maybe in Germany and Switzerland and Bulgaria and all the other awesome places in Europe, like Lithuania and all this fun stuff so I guess it's very different but I had this vision of I thought like if we could just have people kids doing something that they they know they're good at they continue it then maybe you know become already really well skilled already in college to already you know do their career but if people are still deciding like in their college like oh no they switch majors I'm like oh no oh dear that might be a little bit bad my dad that didn't happen to me though my field of study is really hard to get in, especially when it was after COVID. I'm like, oh no, uh, it was it's hard, especially cinema and digital arts. It's really hard. I've been trying to apply for jobs, but they are not hiring because it was because of COVID. And now I'm just trying to make a career and trying to live on my own, pay for rent. Uh, being adult life is great. <laughs> All right, I'll stop talking. I'll continue. Sorry, I was just like, mm, I understand, Milan. Our future is at stake here. We have to do something. I declare a form-filling strike. No student files, no career forms. I don't get what that accomplishes, but okay. Julik is right. Except for Adrian, we've all already handed in our career forms. But again, in high school, there's not, like, there's time to change as well. Did you manage to figure out what you want to do? I think so. What is it? What is it? Please! I will defend your form as if my life depended on it. Thank you for entrusting me. If I could force stroke someone, I would never do it, but Lila would be the exception. Uh, when will they ever repair that lousy school? Isn't that the men's room? Actually, I could be wrong. I can, I can tell by the sign. I 
like to do later in life. Oh. The only thing I know for sure is that I love Marinette Dupan Chang. But I guess that doesn't really help you. I'm sorry, Adrian Agress. Oh, it's pathetic. Utterly pathetic. What are you already written down on Adrian's fake form? Write it again, but worse. Alia Cesar, optician. Are you sure there isn't a mistake? I thought for sure that Alia wanted to be a reporter. That's what's written on the form Marinette gave us. It's true that it is strange, but come to think of it, a reporter helps people to better understand the world, to clarify the things that seem fuzzy, kind of the way an optician makes glasses. Oh, that's true, and Alia Cesar actually wears glasses. Her grades allow it. I see no reason for us to oppose it. Who are we to judge? Our duty is to support our students as best we can. Please enter the following in the career study system, Mrs. Mendelia. Alia Cesar, optician. Julica Cuthain wants to repeat the year. Oh, that's unusual. But she's already repeated a year, and her grades have gotten better. Yes, but perhaps until she's resolved her speech impediment, she'd rather stay on familiar ground. With your help, Miss Bustier, of course. Sometimes one step back is one step forward. Her grades allow it. I see no reason for us to oppose it. <sighs> Miss Mendeleev, please enter Julica Cuthain, repeating the grade. She would never do that. Optician? That's not what I want to be at all. Physiotherapist? Swimming instructor? But I can't even swim. You sure you didn't get mine by mistake? Mister, it's the interior. The interior of what? Are you all right? Hmm? Jewel? <gasps> Repeating the year? What? That's completely bogus. What? Jewel got to repeat the grade? Repeating? No way. Oh, uh, God. It's the same. It's mine. I'm not surprised. Ah, teacher rep meetings, endless sources of anguish and crushed hopes. There's too many to choose from. Crushed hopes? I'm tempted to squeeze this bottle without its cap. That's dangerous, but I'm I'm I wanna to scream to the rooftops. I wanna to scream to the moon. Feast of broken dreams awaits you! Jules, you have to persist, otherwise you might get acclimatized. Remember what Ladybug said when she gave you this magical charm? We'll find a solution. You can do it. I can't repeat a year. I can't repeat a year. <laughs> Reflector. Not, I not Reflecta again, please. I am done with Reflecta. But well, thanks to the power I'm about to give you, everyone will finally understand. Come on, Julica, you can resist so it. I know, exactly like but it's you. not true. Roar, your power is now mine. I mean, that is a cool power. She looked amazing with that. But no, stop it. Stop it. Stop. What if she took off the ring? Actually, what if she took off the ring? I wonder what that happened if she took off the ring. Shut up. Oh, come on! Look at the cute kitty! Oh, not again! Staying together, no matter what. What a great idea! I am done with this akumatized villains. Stuff. We're all identical. Keeping us from being together all the time. Together forever! Oh my gosh. It's not your fault, Miss Bustier, but. What are you getting his that for? To... Oh, destroy the school? You don't go to school anymore? Oh my gosh. Again. Just with the tiger's punch as a bonus. It's not gonna be easy. In that case, lucky charm! Tape! So they multiplied. Well then, let's divide them. I really hope you can get us out of this sticky situation, lady. Hey, let's go, puns. <laughs> Croissants too much. Uh, 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 uh. Hey, it's your design. What do you think's first? 
for suggesting a career change? Yeah. Is that the original one? In between walls? Is that the original one though? Good job! But I feel like it's too soon. I could be wrong. Stronger by any chance? This magical charm will help you remember to never give up hope. We will always be there for you. Oh, I do like uh, all the hugs. Patience. I can still sense despair and anger. No, no, it's okay. Everyone's fine. <laughs> Lila, what happened during the teacher's rep meeting? I don't know. All I did was defend what was in the files Marinette had given us. What's on your sheet, Marinette? <laughs> I'm going to a high school where I can specialize in fashion just like I requested. Uh, that totally proves she's the villain! Uh, Marinette, you didn't need to do this! Do what? Marinette is obviously mad at you for electing me to replace her as your class representative. But you do realize that you're creating those fake forms. Stop you it! You destroyed their futures? You risked losing all your friends? All ya! No Step up for Marinette! Exactly what I have created those fake forms. Well, by forging everyone's handwriting, for instance. Huh? But I don't know how to do that. Unlike Sabrina. Oh! Yes, I admit it. I forged the forms. <gasps> Come on, be brave, Sabrina. This is for everyone. Stand up, Sabrina! You do something so Use horrible. your own heart! Come on! Like in the movie! Yes! Woo! Oh, Sabrina, I'm sorry. I hadn't noticed that my becoming friends with Chloe was hurting you so much. You were so blinded by jealousy that Marinette, like a civilian monarch, took advantage of it to manipulate you. Huh? No, she did! Yes, yeah, Sabrina! Forgive you, you know. You're so horrible. You're turning everything I say against me. We've got nothing against you, Sabrina. Say it, Sabrina! I stand up with you, Sabrina! I don't care. I have proof. And my policeman dad will put you both in jail. Yes, yeah, Sabrina! <laughs> yes! She's so fragile. She doesn't know what she's saying. Miss Boussier, as class reps, shouldn't we go and talk to her? No! No! Not you too! Damage, 
it was for everyone's good. I'll fix everything. We owe you an apology, Baroness. <laughs> Those are your orders, Mr. Mayor. But couldn't we at least review the students' files again? Impossible. Everything's in the system already. Reviewing them would mean acknowledging this whole Forge Farm story, which would be terribly damaging to our institutions in New York. <sighs> but that means these children will have a future that doesn't match their ambitions. They'll be unhappy. The Just talk to them in a private them. situation. What do you want me to say, my friend? Say la vie. <sighs> Good job. Now you're not getting fired either. How can he get fired as mayor? He's the mayor! <sighs> Patience always pays off sooner or later. Again? No! I've destroyed my students' futures. I'm unworthy of my title. No! It's not your fault, Mr. Damocles. My mega Kuma, destroy that magical charm. Do what you think is right. We trust you. <laughs> he was always a coward, a complete coward. Don't listen to her. We can still work things out. Yes. Yes. The magical charm reacts to emotions. Miss Bustier, get those two out and get as many people in here as you can. Trust me. You're going to regret meddling in this. All of you, quick. We need as many people as possible. Hey! Uh, hey! What's your name? Get back here! What's your name? Okay, honestly, that was the biggest insult ever. Stay strong! Stay strong! Come on! Stay strong! Do it! Stay strong! What would the owl say if he saw you like this? Cat Noir? Way to be, Cat Noir! Even superheroes are going to witness how incompetent I am. I'm worse than a supervillain. Oh. 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 <sighs> you got this. You, you, you can do this, Mr. Damocles! Yeah! Jellico, let's go! Your, your speech impediment. Every student in this school and all the teachers are counting on their super principal. Why isn't it working? Oh, my throat is gone, and I got sick not too long ago, so I'm like, this is not good for my health, but I am happy! I can do this too. You can do this, Damocles! You can do it! Yes! Protection! Yes! Why is my chair wet? Oh, yeah, it's the water bottle. Good job! Can't be true! Defeated by a bunch of kids? With or without your magical charms, I'm not- Did you say defeated by a bunch of kids? Um, Gabriel, you've been defeated by a bunch of kids since season one! Since the beginning of the year! Hey. It's kind of funny. I know he's referring to the instance right now, but truth be told, he's been defeated by a bunch of kids since the beginning. I'm sorry, I just want to point that out. That's stupid! If you do that, I'll be fired! I mean, I'll fire you and Chloe and Lila will be reinstated anyway! I don't care. For too long, I've been sacrificing my principles for interests that go against the common good. Find someone else to do your dirty work! What are you all still doing here? Don't you have new school forms to fill out? Yes! If I'm to lose my job, I might as well send you to the schools you actually want. Yeah! <laughs> Sabrina, I'm the most proud of you. Sabrina is the true hero right here. And you too, Damocles. <sighs> I would stand up, but then you wouldn't see me in the camera. But I am standing as well. 
I would be standing as well. He should keep his job. Honestly, he's the only teacher that somewhat cares, and I understand the reasons why beforehand, but... And then finally, the principal left. And that's the whole story. <sighs> so that was the true power of the magical charm. Awesome, right? If things continue this way, people won't need us anymore to be dekumatized. Well done. Oh, and he's in the... Oh, but he can still join in. Come in. Where's Lila? How should I know? I'm not the betrayer's mother. I really thought you were good at heart, Chloe. That there was a possibility that you could change if people reached out to you. I was wrong. Now, whether you like it or not, you're going to have to face the consequences of your actions. And what are you going to do to me, huh? You can't even expel me. You're right, but from now on, you'll be getting some very special attention from me. <gasps> oh. Like, oh, repeating special like ten graves? Utterly. Who is this? The war is only just starting. Be ready. Oh, Cerise, is your movie shoot over? We didn't think we'd see you again before the end of the school year. Yes! I moved heaven and earth so I could be back just in time for the teacher's rep meeting. It would have been such a shame if your favorite delegate were missing. Who the frick are you? Who the frick are you? She was wearing a wig this whole time or did she get her hair cut and then just kept her hair? Are you even a teenager? Like, are you a freaking adult? Oh my gosh, I am... I did not expect this whatsoever. Again, the, the series always gives you the unexpected, and that's what keeps us, you know, wanting to go. But it doesn't mean it's a great show. I mean, okay, it's still a great show. It's just the continuity error is going down the drain. But... Or it's going down to the point of it's just getting terrible and worse in story writing wise. But oh my gosh, oh my gosh, Sabrina, I'm so freaking proud of you. And I just want to know, was this planned from the beginning? Because the bathroom being, like, is the bathroom actually a, uh, what's the word? I mean, maybe not. I don't know. Actually, I want to go back and see that. See the plan beforehand. Because I want to know if it was planned, like, right from the beginning or... I don't know, but oh my gosh, I am so proud of Sabrina because she did the right thing. She's police, you know, discovering the truth. You could be a detective if you wanted to, because, or, you know, an undercover detective, undercover cop. Like, literally, Sabrina, you did great, but you were, oh my gosh, you were bullied. You really Let me see, I want to see this again. A few days ago, Sabrina warned me about what you were planning. Hello? Wait, a few days ago? Not anymore. What should I do? Wait. A few days ago, Sabrina warned me about what you were planning. A few days ago? So, is that like a few days ago, like, like, like during this episode, like, kind of, like, a few days ago, or? Hello? I can't. Not anymore. What should I do, Marinette? Exactly what they're asking you to. Okay. Yes! Oh my gosh, Sabrina, yes! Yes! Oh my gosh. Yeah, she just, that, that was the last straw. She did do it to help Chloe, but if it meant destroying her uh, her friends' lives, she was not going to do that. Even though helping Chloe would def like ruin other friends' lives, in a way. But in this case, this was Lila asking for it, not really Chloe. So I can see how the last straw was gonna go through that. Oh my freaking gosh! Oh my freaking gosh! That is just I am so happy. There goes my water bottle. I'm just so happy she overcame, she finally asked for help, and, oh my gosh, I honestly, like, how can, who, I'm sorry, Mayor Bourgeois, your wife can't fire you, but I feel like you have, like, an emotional, like, soul connection with your wife to the point that, or uh, soul connection with Audrey, to the point that everything she says goes. Like, it's almost like she's mayor, which is, I'm not surprised. She's been probably doing this this whole time. But in this case, she can't stand up to his, oh my gosh, he's so scared. And I feel really bad. And 
Uh, just the love he has for Audrey is, is, oh my gosh, I just wish Audrey could change just a little bit, but, and that ain't gonna happen if, if the writer is keeping it this way, because then there's no hope, and that's just sad. Because again, I wanted hope for Chloe, but of course they just botched that in the end of season three, so, hey, sadness. Um, yeah, um. This was this was good. I I, I want to see this fact because I'm just. I, have an idea to catch them. I just want to see this. Oh, so it was. So they did do that. Oh, so it was a couple of days ago. So they did it on purpose. Wait, if it's a weird movie, then have they actually been going to the bathroom this whole time and you've been seeing? Everyone's good. I'll fix everything. We owe you an apology, Marinette. You owe. Most of all, me. It's okay, best teacher. Rossi, you are hereby expelled from school. <sighs> you want to keep your job, Mr. Principal, and keep my daughter and her friend in your school. Oh my gosh, that's just utterly ridiculous. But I'm so proud of him for standing up, and I think he should come back as a principal. Um, just have Chloe not in that school. Seriously, it's Chloe. The only reason why Chloe, I'm guessing, is in school is to torture others. She can literally be in a private school, or in this case, homeschooled with the best, most expensive to to tutors or teachers that you can have even professors to come teach at the hotel to teach her but no that will not satisfy her she has to go to a public school so she can make everyone's lives miserable that is just oh. one of the worst things um but lila is just like the incarnate of satan so wonderful that's why she's the greatest villain of all time. She is, honestly, the embodiment of Satan. I'm sorry, I can't believe I'm saying this, but literally what she's doing, and like, we haven't gotten really much of a backstory, like why she's like this. I just, well, the only thing we got from her is that like, I can't help it. I always get whatever I want. I remember that. I think that was in Repost when she said that, but, or Onichan? No, I think it was, it was either Repost or Onichan or a different episode, but I forgot the name of it. But it was that, I remember, when um, Kagami got akumatized and was chasing after Lila and she had the big horn. That episode, I think that's repose, but I could be wrong. I could be wrong. Um, probably am. I'm not sure. But yeah, that episode is where um, it revealed her a little bit of a little bit. Like, I just can't help it. I always get whatever I want. I'm like, okay, but how do you get everything you want? That's not the similar as Chloe. You don't seem super duper rich. Or maybe you are because you have, like, what, 20 parents that are your... Okay, I literally learned this learned this term like not too long ago i've heard it before but i did not know what it meant but she probably has i can't believe i'm saying this because it sounds so ridiculous but if this is what it means that lila has many sugar mamas and sugar daddies <laughs> did not know that's what it's called but that's what i feel like that's what she has that's why she can afford the things she has that's why she can do the things she does it just makes sense that she can do what she does so Oh my gosh, I'm so sorry if I broke your eardrums. I am just so freaking proud of Sabrina for finally stepping up and asking Marinette for help and the class and just... And that, okay, that makes sense. They literally built that bathroom just for that reason, just for that one trap. Whoa. So, so... <coughs> um, sorry. Um... But it feels like she wrote, or she called Marinette when she was in the closet, calling her up. But I feel like at the beginning of the episode, we already had that bathroom there. So was this like going back and forth in time, or am I just blanking on everything? I'm not sure. No, no, not really. Uh, I don't really see it. I mean, they're not walking in, so this could be like, oh, they're now going to write their stuff, or this is in between. They're in the locker room. Um... It's after, so yeah, when she blows the whistle, yeah, after that, after that, after, um, is it in the, I can't see, no, maybe not. Um, in the boiler room. So, I don't know if any days, no, I don't see it even in this part. I think it happens, oh, wait, no, now it's there. So, let me see, is this, did this just happen, I'm sorry, I'm just like. Uh, when will they ever repair them, lousy school? Well, this could have happened in literally just that day when they were writing this stuff. I don't know. This is confusing. Um, well, maybe they they had to get uh, a call from 
Sabrina every time like, oh, I finished, so now to take get the bathrooms? At least the women's bathroom. Oh, oh, if it's the women's bathroom, that's the worst. I am so sorry to all the girls. But the women's bathroom is not the, oh my gosh. <laughs> there probably was what, like 10 bathrooms in there, hopefully. I remember in my school there was only three, which is better than two, but uh, yeah. Okay, well, I think I'm gonna have to end it here because I think I said everything I wanted to, but this, this I love because of Sabrina finally standing up and I was literally about to squirt water at the TV. I was just getting so upset and so done with Lila's lies, it's just infuriating. I was just, if I had that, I, I, I was actually about to squeeze it and Lily did myself water, but I don't want to get wet, though I did get a little bit, but, and that would have been come for comedy reasons, but then I realized after that, and then it won't be real, but yeah, oh my gosh, guys, that was something, that was something, and I'm so glad you guys got to see it, this was for you guys, this, this, this Miraculous Monday was definitely for all the wonderful people who wrote down underneath the comments wanting me to continue. This was just for you, and you know who you are, because I definitely probably un commented underneath you. Definitely for Theodore, I forgot the numbers he said, but definitely for you, Theodore, and the names that I definitely can't pronounce because it's a lot of consonants together, but this is definitely for you guys, and who I talked to um, you guys on, on the video, last video of last week, so this is definitely for you guys. Thank you. And hey, you should thank them down in the comment section for those because they're the reason why I came back. They're the reason why. And of course, maybe completion's sake, but literally, the reason why for my completion's sake was 10%. 90% was the reason why, because people, wonderful people who, honestly, I'm really glad you guys enjoyed my live reactions, wanted me to continue. And that's for that. That's the reason why I continued, so. Thank them underneath the comments. They deserve all the praise, and that's why I came back. So, and I'm kind of glad I kind of did with this episode. This was this was fun. It had the rage. I had that like the most. Oh my gosh! I was just so proud because I'm like finally, evil has been conquered. Even though she now has a new identity, and I'm like, okay, now how are you gonna take down? How are you gonna take down Gabriel? I think that's her next. I think. Um, What's the word? I mean, I think she doesn't even care if she gets... Because she was barely in that school anyway, so I bet she doesn't even care that she's even part of that school. She's just there to destroy lives, like like Chloe. But she's there to destroy their lives, like, to the point of... Oh my gosh, it's... That's like self-harm, like, that's gaslighting. And, and I just love the way that... Sabrina said, like, you're putting words in my mouth. Stop doing that! I'm like... Thank you, Sabrina. But it's like, I have proof. I'm like, no, I actually don't have proof, but until that, I'm like, oh, Sabrina, I love you. Way to go. You were, you were the MVP, the MVP this episode. And of course, with Damocles being the second MVP, definitely, like, they, you two were awesome and amazing and oh, love it. This is awesome. And I'm enjoying it. Um, Though for me, it's kind of weird that Adrian didn't, write a career choice. I mean, I understand if you don't know yet, and there's always things to look forward to, but you should have much of a will to actually make a decision, like, in this, in this case, like, you want to be with Marinette. Why not just do, be, I mean, okay, you don't want to be a model, I get that, but I was like, be a model for Marinette. <laughs> like, do it for Marinette, because <laughs> you love her so much, like, why don't you just be, you know, a model for Marinette, not model for your dad, be a model for Marinette. I think you would probably like it. If you don't like it, then you can speak up and tell them, hey, you can be, I can't believe I was saying this, but stay at home dad, like Ivan, again, Milen, Ivan, we need to talk about something. If there's something you guys are hiding, we need to talk about something, but that can come later. Or now, I'll talk to you in the back of the room, like we need to, we need to talk about something. <laughs> oh my gosh, stay at home dad, watch out for the kids, what kids? I think I haven't screamed so much in an episode in this one. I think this is like the most time I screamed. There's time I was like, I was like hyperventilating because I'm like, I did not expect that to happen. When Luca found out, that was one of them. Um, yeah. Uh. All right, I'm definitely gonna end it here. I'm gonna stop, I have to stop because this is gonna be an hour e video and I don't want that to, to do that with you guys, but oh my gosh. But yes, I'm curious on what Lila has to, 
what's gonna what she's gonna do but I feel like her goal is now to become more powerful so that no one can stop her because it looks like you know the school stop her so in this case she doesn't care like she doesn't need to go to school so she can actually be whatever she wants to be if she still has an, uh, an identity in somewhere else like again those were like look like older high schoolers maybe so maybe she's just part of a group or something like I don't even know what she's part of but oh my gosh but yeah so we shall see we shall see well, I'm definitely going to end it here, guys, so thank you guys so much for watching. Please comment down below to the people who got me to continue watching Miraculous, because they're the ones who really wanted me to continue, and I really thank you guys so much, and I really appreciate you guys commenting the really sweet words that you guys wrote for me to continue, and I'm kind of glad I did, because I never would have had this reaction. Never, and I'm kind of glad it happened, so... Even though I probably still will be disappointed with the season finale, just, just preparing that emotionally, because... People are writing in the comments, and they're being trolls and spoiler jerks, so. Well, in this case, I still don't know what's going to happen. I'm just guessing, but I'm going to see what's going to happen, so. Well, I'll see you guys next week for episode 22 for Miraculous, so thank you guys again. Comment down below your favorite reaction, your favorite episode of season 5. If it is episodes after this, then don't tell me, because then that might be a spoiler if you tell me why you like it. But, again, I would love to hear from you guys. Please share this with your miraculous friends around the world. And if you want to see now, every time I upload an episode, please click on the notification down below on the bell so that you guys don't miss a Miraculous Monday. Hungry Hermity is now going to be out. But remember, be miraculous, simply the best, up to the test when things go wrong. And pound it. All right, let's go patrol our own city. Come on, Izzy. Antler's ready.